as a star forms in a particular area of space, it does so by attracting atoms from a nearby area. The more atoms it attracts, the greater its gravitational pull. Therefore, the more atoms it attracts, this then accelerates the formation of the star. This star seedling, if it gets a significant head start on its rivals in a particular region of space, it will likely absorb all the other seedlings in the local area due to its significantly greater mass. When this happens, you get a single star in the system. The system is normally fairly stable, like our own solar system. However, this is always the case. Sometimes you get two or more stars starting in the same region of space. And they grow at a fairly similar rate and create a binary star system. The binary star system isn't a rare event, but actually quite common. However, there are several variations on the general theme of a binary star system. Normally one star is significantly larger than the other, especially when their orbits are relatively close together. What's known as a tight binary system, you normally have a large star with a smaller star orbiting anywhere from about Jupiter to Neptune in the distance. The immense gravitational forces operating these star systems normally mean that many planets that would normally form are ripped apart by the tidal gravitational forces of these two stars, and others will develop eccentric or erratic orbits, making development of life less likely in these kinds of systems. Alternatively, stars in a binary system formation may be much further apart, with the distance being many times that of Pluto from our own Sun. Here the stars will be fairly similar in size, and the tidal gravitational forces will be much less. But the long periods of the orbits of the two stars again likely make planets' orbits erratic, can even result in planets being expelled from the system entirely. How this may take billions of years to occur, so life may be more likely to appear in these systems than in a tight binary system. Now, a binary system, especially a tight binary system, may undergo a radical change during the life of the system. Rather than just orbiting each other like the planets do in our solar systems, the stars may slowly start to drift towards each other in a closer and closer spiral. This is the case with a system going by the rather boring title of KIC 9832227. Here, the two stars have done more than just drift a little close to each other, They're now almost touching. They orbit each other a couple of times today and will soon fully collide. When that happens, it should be fairly spectacular. Now, currently, the stars can only be seen with a very powerful telescope. There are more than a million brighter stars that we can see from Earth. However, when these stars merge, it's likely they'll form a red nova. For a short time, they'll be one of the 20th brightest stars in the sky. It's of course a little bit difficult to predict exactly when this happened to such a great distance. The current estimates vary by plus or minus six months, but it's likely that in 2022, the outcome of this merger will be able to be seen close to the constellation known as Cygnus. Since we're visible in 2022, of course, doesn't mean that's when it's actually going to happen, though. The system is about 1,800 light years away, which means that Nova actually occurred before the Roman Empire was divided into the Eastern and Western Roman Empires and during the time of the Three Kingdoms in China. It's just that the light from the explosion has been traveling all that time through space till in a few years' time be able to see the first time on Earth. However, because the explosion is, or was, so distant, it doesn't represent any threat to life on Earth. Instead, it would just be a change in the lights in the sky, and briefly, a new star will be visible in our night sky.